with school walkouts happening all over America right now, on the same day where most people will smoke that green, and school shootings happening more often than report card pickup. Seriously, how, how many times a year do I need to prove that I'm ready for the fourth grade? One school has decided, you know what? They're done. They are cracking down right now on school dress code. Yeah, but brother, I, 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 I saying. <laughs> it's your favorite comedian, Elon Rich, and I got a lot to say about the news today. It all started at a water park. 17-year-old Lizzie Martinez had been swimming and tanning and doing shit that you do in Florida all weekend. She's 17. Get those creepy images out of your head. So come Monday morning, all of a sudden she was like, you know what? I'm not going to wear this bra thing. And she decided to wear a loose, dark t-shirt. And it was purposefully loose because she didn't want her tatas to get too much attention. Now around like 10 a.m., not even like 15 minutes into veterinary assistance class, she was called out of the classroom by two school officials who straight up asked her, point blank, boldly, why aren't you wearing a bra? Now right off the bat, what the fuck? I really don't think that it's like even slightly appropriate to say to a student, hey, why aren't you wearing underwear? You know, because I was looking, I was looking at those and I just noticed. Now, when she told them about the sunburn, they said that she was violating their dress code. Now, the discrepancy in the stories is apparently they say that the boys were looking and laughing at her, but she says she knew absolutely nothing about this until she got to the dean's office. So Lizzie's crying and she wants to go home. She calls her mom who is a registered nurse and anybody who has called their mom, no, when she's at work, don't call. I mean, unless you're dying, unless you're literally dying. I don't know about y'all, but I had a black mom. So like, if I call my mom while she's at work, I have to be dying or I'm gonna die. Her mom's like on the phone trying to call it off and just like, can't you just put an undershirt on and call it a day? And Lizzie just decided to concede. If that's the word, I don't, I don't concede. I, I mean, what's the word for it? It's not concede. She, she, uh, caved? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, she decided to comply. I think that's the word I was looking for. Comply. Now here's when the story gets even creepier. So she puts on the undershirt and the principal tells her to stand up and move around. Uh, no. She, she's 17. This isn't a lap dance. You don't just throw a dollar bill at her and be like, hey, hey, yeah, dance a little bit. Move around a little bit. It's creepy, it's weird. Now when she said that, she looked at her and said, hold up, like, what do you mean? Now she was creeped out, but she was a little scared because the school is really strict about their discipline, not on their gun laws. The Dean said that apparently the nipples were still showing. So she, suggest so she suggested that she put on Band-Aids. I don't know about you, but I would never put Band-Aids on my nipples. Mine are a little bit hairier, I'm guessing, than some other people, but we're already going into TMI territory right there. Now, what Lizzie says next is a little weird, and I probably would have just been like, you know what, I feel like it's time for me to get out of this office and go home. She said the dean said that she's thinking of ways that she can fix this for her. She was a heavier girl and have all the tricks up her sleeve. Uh, uh... Uh, creep mode. They had Lizzie X out her nipples with with bandages. I I can't I can't make this up. And apparently those bandages hurt. She said that she was only able to wear them for about 45 minutes before she started to cry and went to the bathroom and showed her friend and they took those bandages off and she called her mother. When her mother found out about the bandages which was literally about 28 hours later, she said that she could not believe that. 
She had wore an undershirt and all that. Like, these are growing teens. Like, 17 years old. She's she's past puberty. More than likely, she is a full-figured woman, although illegal for you motherfuckers who are weird, but she is a full-figured woman. So there's no, like, what do you expect? Like, you can't, you can't just tell her, hey, suppress your titties. That's just not how titties work. I don't have titties, but I'm pretty sure this is based on the tittyology that this doesn't have titties work. Now the crazy thing is later they found out actually there is nothing in the dress code that specifically says that students have to wear bras because, ah, uh, duh. No reason there would be anything in there to say that you have to wear a bra. It's like, why Why would it say anything about that? I'm not defending or, or, or going against any either side. I'm just saying that wouldn't be in there. Now, later on, in a statement from this high school, they said that things should have been handled a lot differently, but they also still stand by their statement that she is violating dress code. Now, if you're wondering why am I still bringing this up and this was way in early April, it's because things are still happening to this day. In protest, 30 female students decided to not wear bras. Some students decorated their backpacks with band-aids and an X formation. One student even wore a shirt that says, do my nipples offend you? And there were asterisks where her nipples were out. With national student walkouts happening all over today and this being something that the schools are deciding to actually crack down on, I wanna know what you think in the comments section. Do you feel as if they we're in the right telling a 17 year old student that she has to wear a bra. Do you feel like they're in the wrong, that they shouldn't be caring about how their students underwear and lack of thereof is going on? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Be sure to like this video, share it on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on facebook.com slash Elon Rich and Instagram at Elon Rich and twitter.com slash Elon Rich ENT. Um, that's my at. That's my TwitCon, whatever they call it. I'm Elon Rich, and do my nipples offend you? That's no, really. That's not. That's not a joke. That's not a joke that I should make. That's. Uh, I'm just gonna. Just gonna end this video like that. You've been walking in here looking all pretty and angry and mean and good. <laughs> I know you didn't get your head down so you could just sit down and just sit still. Hey, we trying to have a good time tonight. Let's go, baby. Let's go.